Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Context here, bringing you guys another video. This is spots and scraps on Redwood SND. My sensitivity down. So we're gonna just get straight to it. If you guys have seen spots and scraps on Stronghold and Infection, you guys basically know what this video is gonna be about. So first, we're gonna cover defending the B bomb site. Now a lot of people play right here or on the bomb. Or they wall run off their spawn and play right here. I honestly don't recommend playing any of these places. Most of the time, I say if you're gonna have a guy here, you should hit them right away with a submachine gun. And push up right here, hit the wall run, and then challenge. Or if no one's there and they're going 4B or 3B, then you can insta-flank. But I don't suggest sitting someone there, because as you guys will see when I go on offense, there's a lot of places you can play. On defense, what I like doing is... Just is coming mid map I'll try to G slide and get here really quick and I'll play it right here. The reason being is I can sound whore if someone's coming down here. I can peek broken. I usually have an AR while I'm here by the way. I can peek broken with an AR. I can call out the cross to B and if they see like if they peek across to where I am I'll just shoot them. And if they don't want to keep running I'll call it out. And if they are A I can just hit an insta flank this way. So it's a really good power position. Uh, if you're sniping, you could always just stay right here, and when you know someone's there, come up. Or peek it from right here, so this is a good spot as well if you want to sit a little bit farther back from the action. I'll still plan the A-bomb site, or the B-bomb site, excuse me. When you're playing the B-bomb site, most people send a guy up top right here, and then a guy bottom. My team floods out right here, and we try to get into this spot right here. If you can get here off the break, you're going to have to do some G-sliding and stuff and some fast movement. But if you can get here off the break and they go mid-map and it doesn't get called out, you can shoot them in the back right here. And if they come in bridge, which is what they'll probably be doing if it's a B push, you can get the jump on them. Only thing is you got to get there fast. You can sit someone on the, on the head glitch right here, but you can get shot from two angles. So if you're going to play here, I'd suggest getting right here and just hugging the, the tree and letting them come by that way or jumping down that way so uh that's basically playing the map in a nutshell on defense the easy way like the standard places if you're sniping and you want to peek this you can peek it and come across which i don't suggest doing but you can you can sit a guy in the water if I get to mid fast enough, sometimes we like to push a guy all the way up and then try to hit an insta flank if they're not on the bridge already. It really just depends on your team. On rounds that I have overdrive, since you guys know I always use overdrive on SND if it's available, I sprint up mid map and instead of sitting by the log, I take a Vesper and I fly up here. I always get here before they get here. So if they do try to come broken or cross, if they cross, they usually don't shoot. I follow them and then shoot. But if they push right in, I get a free kill. So, that's basically it. If you're playing this mid area, spots you want to look for are obviously bridge, broken, and right here, sometimes if they push down that lane, but most teams don't. And when you're watching A, I say push them or play really far back. And by far back, I mean like this corner. Don't play predictable spots where they're going to pre-aim with snipers and ARs and beam you. And you should be pretty good to win your defense. Well, that's the defense that's on this map in a nutshell. Switching now we're switching over to offense. And we're gonna go to the B-bomb first because it's the closest objective. thing. So most of the time, we got the bomb. hit that G-slide right there. We go, we just four hit this. And the last person in the line will be the one who picks up bridge with an AR or a snipe. And their main priority is looking up there. Or over there, just these two things. The lead person comes around the outside and peeks bomb. There's almost always someone down here. So you challenge win that. And then the bomb carrier, who's typically me, comes second. Same thing. And I plant. The person who goes first pushes out. And the person who was third sits right here, which is a position you want to be on defense. 
and this is like a post plant situation so I'd be hydration the bomb there'd be a person here a person on the bridge and a person in this building trying to get into top if possible so that's probably the best hit on this map because you can overpower them all you have to do is win your gunfights um our team doesn't do mid plays but you can I know teams do mid plays effectively from right here this wall right here if you double jump and throw a nade you can get a nade to land right on that barrel so it's a really good nade spot picked it up from TJ Halley but if you're sniping and you know no one's in the window and you want to peek it from here you can do that too actually really godlike uh, there's a lot of snipes you can hit on this map and yeah so we usually throw a whole bunch of stuns over if we do push this out and instead of sitting here we just have a guy slide out and kind of bait and then we all come from down there and take mid map if you have mid map control you can wrap around both bomb sites so they'll have to come back to their spawn and you can expect them to be either a or b in the back you just have to win your gunfights really but it's a really good job to or it's a really good play you can use to break balance i guess on the map now a hits these are really hard the a bomb site is so far back that's almost impossible to win i know most of you guys know that you can come down here and try to catch people off guard But, this is what I like to do, I'll show you guys in a second. You can also just come up pre-aiming if you think they're going to rush you. But most people would try to peek around right here. So over there, or over there, and they get picked off. So what I like to do is come right up here. And I can peek right over. You guys see what I'm aiming at? It's that back arrow. So if someone's head glitching that back barrel, I call it out. And I can throw a nade. Oh, I almost fell. I don't have nades on me, which is unfortunate. But if I did, I could throw a nade right there in between. I'll show you guys in a second. Right there, basically, where my reticle was. And it will land. It will bounce off right about here. And land, like, right behind the bomb in this area. So if they're, like, head glitching the bomb right here, it will at least hit them. And you'll know if the person is there. On this bomb site, you really need to get information before you hit. So if I peek and see that no one's there, and someone throws a nade over, and they don't even get a hit marker over here, we assume that it's a free, uh, we can at least get onto the site. And then, you want to plan on the back side, unless you have a teammate that went mid and, like, flanked all the way around. But if I plant here, our entire team can just back up. So one person would say, hey, glitch the bomb, and we can have two people watching the flank, and one person playing, like, right here. Or something watching the wall run really the so one person watching the wall run one person on the flank one head glitching the bomb Open and you can sit one in this room just in this corner or something and that's basically a pretty easy state or setup for the a bomb it's the only way i think you can get into the bomb by just world starring kids so yeah that's redwood snd folks i uh, hope this video Hope you guys learned something in the video. Hope it helps you guys out if you play UMG SNDs or whatever. Or just Arena. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Context, sign and out.